this is my experience. It's just warm water and then Okay, well, and look, it's changing colour down there. So the chemical in the bottom I put in there for sand, and it was called sodium hydroxide, which is a base, and we used an indicator which made it go blue. You can see it's changed colour. Sam, any idea why it might have changed colour? Um, because it just goes through the rainbow and chemical reaction. Chemical reaction, awesome. So the, the sodium hydroxide was reacting with the dry ice, which is what, what chemical is dry ice? What gas is it? Carbon dioxide. Perfect. Like so the, what's all this stuff coming off here? What's this? It's all like steam. Yeah. So carbon why, dioxide coming. Yeah, so it's carbon dioxide and steam. Why is it dropping? Because it's so heavy because it's like not so heavier. Heavier than air. Cool. Okay. So do you know why they what carbon dioxide or dry ice is used for because it's heavier than air? It's used to like... Do you know what dry ice is sometimes used for um, because it's heavier than air? Um, cooling things, it's in like airplane food. Oh yeah, it's used for that as well. So the fact that solid is turning straight into a into a what? Gas. Gas. So this liquid's actually just water, isn't it? Sublimation. Awesome. But the reason what it's often used for is it's heavier than air and actually puts fires out. So it's used for fire extinguishers quite often. But yes, you're right. What you said before is awesome. So why is dry ice used for aeroplane food? Because it doesn't. It keeps food. For longer, yeah. When they go on long journeys to like America, yeah. Here. And when it melts, but it doesn't really melt, it what does it turn into? Gas, so they don't have to clean up the mess. Awesome, it's very cool. Here. And you used warm water in here, didn't you? Yes. Was there a reason for that? Um, it just seems to change. It speeds up the reaction. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Fantastic, well done.